this would be the presentation of the audited financial statements and supplemental information of September 30th, 2018. Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Auditor Gerald Pentecost is with us tonight, and he'll come forward to the podium, please. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, for those of you that hadn't met me, my name is Gerald Pentecost. I am the uh, auditor for the city of Grantville. I'm a CPA from the Gadsden, Alabama area. I've been the auditor of the city of Grantville for the last, uh, this is the fourth year, so, so three years prior to this. Uh, I am here tonight to present you with the audited financial statements. We've completed our audit, and uh, I'm here to present you with the audited financial statements for the fiscal year ending September 30th, 2018. Um, and now I'm a bit early, to be honest with you. Uh, this is the earliest we've delivered it uh, so far in my four years with you guys. So uh, everybody pulled together and, and did a great job pulling this together. And I think we've done some great things together, and me as the auditor and you as the council and the management have done great things for the city and, and have uh, have fixed a lot of, of things. And, and I think that everything looks really good. So I'm here to present a... Uh, what we call an unqualified opinion on the financial statements and on compliance. Uh, the uh, uh, lay term of, or the uh, way that should be said is that I did not find anything in during my audit procedures that indicate any kind of uh, adjustments that need to be made to your financials, nor did I find anything that indicated any non-compliance with laws, regulations, or anything else. So it's a good opinion. It's the best one you can get from me. Uh, so, uh, so I'm here to present that tonight, and I think that's a, a you know, a, a great thing for the management and for the city council. Something you need to, you should be very proud of. Um, the, uh, uh, a couple of procedural things. I have uh, I've presented a draft financial to Al and management, and to the mayor, and to the city accountant. Uh, they are currently reviewing those, and they're going to come back to me with any notes or anything that they have. Um, uh, and also, uh, I have a letter here that I would like to present to the council. Uh, can I approach? Is that okay if I hand that up? Um, the, uh, that letter is a uh, letter that summarizes uh, required communications in an audit. So those are things that I need to communicate to you as the council in this audit. Um, so uh, I can summarize it very quickly by saying that it basically says that we didn't have any problems or issues or any particularly sensitive matters that came up during the course of our audit, is what it says. So uh, uh, I, with that being said, I appreciate the opportunity to continue to do this audit for the city and I think we did a great job. I'm glad it's all done and wrapped up. and. I'm happy to entertain any questions that you may have about the financials or audit or anything else that you have. I have a question. Um, and I wish I was better at understanding all these figures that kind of all run together for someone with my level of experience. Uh, how do we do at the end of the year based on the budget that we had? Did we have to pull any reserve funds? Uh, out to pay our bills at the end of this year? Uh, as far as that goes, um, the budget to actual doesn't show any over expenditures. Uh, uh, so, I mean, that you, you spent within your budget, uh, okay, basically, good. is uh, the way that would be. Uh, reserve funds, uh, uh, you know, the uh, uh, there are, I guess maybe we might call that an unrestricted funds or whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm not aware of any like formal reserves that the council has uh, set up uh, for a particular thing or whatever, but basically uh, what, what you can look at is just that uh, unrestricted fund balance and, and just kind of see what the movement in that was during the year. Okay. But, uh, uh, you know, I think uh, overall, you know, in the pulling everything together that, it, that you didn't have to go into any reserve funds per Good. se. Yeah. There are no restricted funds that were spent. Well, Mr. Mayor and Council members, based on our unqualified opinion, this will be our resolution formally adopted at the meeting on January the 28th, the audit findings. Yeah. <laughs>
Gerald, I appreciate all your hard work and uh, look forward to uh, next year. And yes, I, sir. I am super, super proud. And we, this thing is uh, not due until April 1st, and we, we're ready to go. So that's right. I think that's a big accomplishment, and I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor, there is a management letter there that I, I would request that uh, at your convenience that the mayor and a council member would sign. That is one of the requirements that we need to submit for the final audit on January the 28th. 